So what are some other things that you've learned about the the device development process? So I, I think obviously there is the you know great financial gain out there that can happen. And that's something you actually have to consider because whether you care about making a lot of money or not, at the end of the day, what I've learned is, is even in the early phases, you have to think about how is this going to get paid for? You know, how is this going to get reimbursed? Not just for the physician, but for the hospital itself. What I've learned so far is that even though you want to focus on the idea and the technology, you really have to think about some of these. It may, as ridiculous as it may seem, you have to think about these end, you know, end product things where, you know, where does this fit into the whole workflow? Where does it fit into reimbursement? Where does it fit into, you know, it can't just be anymore, unfortunately, because the physician likes it or they think it's cool or it makes their job easier. Unfortunately, they don't care about us enough. It's, it's got a, the best, the best, the home run out there, the Holy grail is one that the physician likes. It improves workflow. It improves outcomes, obviously. And then it saves the hospital a lot of money. 